Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the second version of the Workout Cube. And Workout Cube is uh, a practice cube for, uh, well, for speed cube uh, training. Let me show you uh, how it turns. It really takes a lot of effort to turn. And actually the second version, that's this, uh, it takes even uh, more force to, uh, to turn. And the reason that it takes so much force is of course because of the new mechanism. But what this does is uh, for speed cubers it gives really a training. Like in the early days it was uh, guitar players that were the fastest speed cubers because they had most force in their hands. So this uh, very heavily turning uh, uh, Rubik's Cube gives you the power in your hands as uh, well like an altitude practice but then for speed cubing. So how did I get this tremendous force that is required in the puzzle? Well the answer is uh, I put a gearing mechanism into it uh, that augments the force. So uh, what's at the inside of this puzzle is a gearing mechanism and uh, here you can see the gears and there are some gears here and you see the red gear when I turn the thing in the middle the three red gears they turn as well and let me take this one even further apart There we are. So we have uh, three little red gears. Then we have this uh, turning thing with the black gear. And then the core with some green gears. And the way it works is if I turn one side, and this will be really hard to see, but uh, then something in here is turning much faster than, well, well, like, uh, like that. Oh, and you can also see, uh, uh, just for the experiment, uh, here is a metal part, uh, one of the spinners uh, I made in metal just to uh, see whether that would make any difference, but it uh, didn't. So my question to you is, uh, about the gearing ratio of this mechanism. What you see is uh, a little gear with seven teeth. The three red gears, each of them has 10 teeth. And the green gears, they have 25 teeth. So it's a ratio of seven to 10 to 25. So my question to you is, how much faster is the inner uh, thing spinning compared to uh, um, the yellow uh, thing with which I push it. So if I make one full turn with the yellow center, how many turns does the black spinner make? So that was my question to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.